We are live here at the JW Solar USA, folks. Um, this is the system, and this is how I've already set it up. And we are not done yet, but I just decided to give you guys a quick look and see how everything is going. Get closer. Here is the Magnusine Magnum uh, 4024 PAE inverter chargers. Then I have um, the, the Magnum Power Track. Uh, PT100 charge controller, 100 amp charge controller, and um, I have the Magnum over there, uh, which is two of them. Uh, PAE uh, is a 40 24 PAE 24 volt system. They have a ME RC50 MC ME RC50. And uh, there's some breakers for 63 for the um, the solar PV, and I got uh, the 100 for the PT100 here, and I have a two amp there which is for the um, the battery monitor kit, the BMK. I have a lightning arrestor here. I got two of them. I took one because I'm gonna stick one underneath here. Because I run out of space here, you can't put them side by side. There's no enough room because I passed this wire right there temporarily. I can able to put it back here, you know. And uh, I have the um, the battery, the M E A R T R remote for the uh, Magnum, so I can able to stack these inverters together. And they can able to control both um, um, inverters to talk to each other, the charge controllers and everything simultaneously. Okay. And um, it has the hood, two hoods there, preventing anything from falling, going directly to the circuitry board where the transformers are. And preventing if you have a place where probably it's leaking or something falls into it, can hark into the system and ruin it. And from there, this side here, I'm coming here, I showed you guys earlier. This is the side for the outback. I'm waiting for the cone that's coming here, going to be put in here, but I still have to do some adjustment. This is just a, a demonstration or illustration I'm doing here for you guys to see. This outback is the uh, FX, the FX 3048. That's a 48 volt. The Magnum, sorry, the outback is a 48 volt. The Magnum is a 24 volt. So I have dual systems. So um, I have um, the I incorporated there. If you guys can see, so I have the uh, outback uh, Flexware 500, which um, um, goes for the Outback power systems and uh, I have um, FM 80 Outback which is a charge control 80 amp charge controller it's mounted already vertically so it's already coming all the way in I left the box open so you guys can see because I talked on this other video you guys can see how everything is the shunt in there I incorporated a, a a breaker in there uh, it's okay it's trying to keep the glare from the light so the 125 breaker so I can able to use what I was thinking here I'm gonna improvise like I always do I'm trying to use this breaker because the 120 uh, 125 if I decided to use two charge controllers which are all back uh, uh, FM 60s then I can able to put the two charge controllers into one breaker right there. I can able to do that because the 63 amps it takes for the charge controller for the um for the uh sorry for the going to the batteries. So I can able to tie two charge controllers into that 120 125 because uh 60 if you go 60 or 63 amps break the 63 amp breaker. So I'm just only short with one amp which is supposed to be uh, 126, but uh, 63, 63, you know, gives you that. But I can able to do that. So I added that breaker since I have it laying around, so I put it in there. 
So this is the box and um, it seems like everything is getting in place and I'm trying to let me slide this guy in here to just give you the beauty out of it and see if uh, it shows well. Yep. So this is how it's going to look like guys. Um, get this thing all the way in place. I'm so tired, but uh, I got to do this thing and get it done. Like uh, a friend of mine was telling me, you better hurry up with your system before <laughs> my brother from the Caribbean, believer, was telling me, say, you better hurry up before spring gets here. Or so, uh, yeah, spring gets here. So I say, I know, I got to do this. I got to do it fast and try to get my stuff put together. So I'm going to be ready to make in more solar power. Okay. So I heard you brother. Brothers. Whatever your comments are. And uh, I have another. Uh, concern. Viewer. That really want me to. Uh, walk on the outback. You know who you are. And this is the system. I'm getting closer. I have to put the. The. Uh, the mid three, so I have to come up where I'm supposed to gonna be anchoring that, and um, I want to give a shout out to all my viewers and all my concern viewers and my subscribers and my longtime subscribers, and uh, I have to make a special video. I gotta do a shout out again. Because they've been with me ever since and um, I appreciate them, I adore them. So this is um, your guy, JW Solar USA. This is what he has been doing. I'm setting up all this massive um, system for you guys to see. And thank you guys for being coming along with me and working all the way to the top. And... We've done it again, guys. We've done it. Beautiful system. Tell me what you think. Any concerns? Uh, comments? And what else you guys want to see from here? But I'm going to be having the Mate 3 attached to the system. I'm going to be having all the other stuff. The hub. Which the communication is going to be somewhere i might probably uh put it on the corner right there so it depends i don't know if uh wide that plate is gonna be and if it's gonna attach there but i'm leaving that room for a second the other second uh charge controller on those two holes where it's gonna go the wire is gonna be punched knockout from the back so guys this is what it is uh like i was telling you guys just a preamble and uh I'm going to be waiting to get the other side of this box here. So that goes in there. See if I can hide all those wires. And from that, we are all done with the upgrade of the system. So we just sit down and enjoy the power. Enjoy the show. How everything goes. So um, the other thing again, if you look at the Flexware 500. The one I just installed, um, guys, I had that one a um, while back. I made a video of it, but I decided to ship it overseas because of all the other inverters I have. Uh, I had here because I don't have them here anymore. So, yeah, so that would have been, this box would have been another one to be up there. So this, the inverter is going to be a transversal, it's going to be a horizontal line horizontally. And it would have been um, nice, but I'm not going to buy it anymore. So this is the system. Please like and subscribe. Live here at the JW Solar USA. Um, thanks for watching. Love you guys all. And take care of yourself. And all the best. So we're going to do a uh, follow up into this and you guys will see update version of the system live here at the command center.
in Minnesota. Bye for now.